Bitcoin emergency update. We need to be aware of what's going on in the markets and what's likely to occur next so you can plan your portfolio. Do we need to get a bit defensive to protect our profits for a short while whilst the market goes through a bit of a correction? Well, that's what we're going to cover in today's video. So like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you don't know me by now, my name is Jiggy. I'm the award-winning author of The Extraordinary New Venture Capital Opportunity, How to Invest Like a Pro. Been featured in the best-selling book, High Probability Trading Strategies, back in 2008, where I used to focus on currencies, but now exclusive on cryptocurrency. For those of you, by the way, that are waiting for the IDO launch pad course, we'll have actually created a free masterclass. It's in the link below. It's ready. I've been working hard for you, and we're going to be adding more and more lessons over time, but it will give you the clarity of what you need. And today, at the end of today's video, I'm going to show you where I was featured in a music video that actually went to number one in the British Asian charts. Yep, we're going to share that at the end of today's video. So let's dive straight in. With Bitcoin, what we want to do is look at a video that we did on, this one was on, when was this? October 26th. October 26th. And what we said was the likelihood with Bitcoin, and, we, you know, it just panned out textbook, textbook. It was just bang on, right? If you just look at it, what we said was we should expect a bit more of a movement to the upside and then hit a top of a five-wave sequence. You know, we call it an ABC, like an ABC or a five-wave sequence. It doesn't matter too much. But the main thing was both things were pointing that we're going to have likelihood to have a correction, right? Have a correction. And then we did a follow-up video. We did a follow-up. Let me just get rid of this. On this one was the 19th of November, 19th of November. So we can plan and prepare ahead of time. So if you haven't already taken my free Elliott Wave and Fibonacci masterclass, it's in the link below, but it allows you to see these random price movements that are not so random. They're human psychology playing out, fear and greed, and we want to be very, very aware of it. So look what happened. Look what happened. We called it ahead of time. Like if we, if we just look, because it's, it's good to know that, you know, 50, 60, 70% of the time it plays out. It plays out nicely. We, we saw... We said down here, we said it's likely to do this last leg and then expect a correction. So that's what we're going to focus on now. What does this part of the market look like and what should we plan and prepare for for the following days, weeks, and possibly even around a month or so? That's what we want to be really, really honed in on. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into our live chart with Bitcoin. This is a live chart with Bitcoin. Let's get rid of the indicator for a second. The main thing that we want to focus on, again, we don't need to worry too much about the wave count. There's a few factors that we really want to pay high attention to, which is really, really important. Firstly, this weekly momentum indicator is clearly bearish, right? It's clearish, clearly the blue lines below the red and it's sideways to down. So we should anticipate three, four, five, maybe up to six weeks of sideways to down. And we can see the beginning of that movement happening already on the daily chart. And this is where we said it on the video, you know, again, just to kind of recap here, this part here, uh, this top part here, the pink box, that was actually this part here, right? So it was anticipating this ahead of time. And then the next video, we said we should anticipate a correction. And this looks like the beginning of a correction, this part here. Yeah, and we, we want to be aware of this because when Bitcoin moves, it's like one of the major indicators of the whole of the crypto markets. And if it goes up and it's showing new all-time highs, really optimistic for the entire market. And then when it's going down and correcting and doing whatever it's doing, it does impact the sentiment of the whole market. So we want to be aware of that. So today's focus is really going to be around this part of the market here. Now, what does this look like? Yeah, and what should we anticipate over the coming few days and maybe even the four, five, seven days and then beyond that as well? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop down to a four-hour chart. I'm going to drop into the bottom left. I'll keep my four-hour chart in the bottom left. I'm going to go to a line chart just because it's easier to see for you. And what we're going to focus on is this part of the market here. Right. What does this look like to you? Well, to me, um, firstly, you know, if you're not used to looking at these, it just looks like random lines, right? Random lines. But there's method to the madness because it looks like a one, two, a nice wave three uh, and a four. And it looks like it's forming a nice wave five. Or we call this a wave one, wave two. We don't need to get too anal about it because this pivot point is really, really crucial for us. And this ABC correction over here. So I'm going to keep it really, really simple, really clean. But it just gives us some really valuable information. Because this is the psychology of buying and selling, and it plays out time and time again. And Bitcoin is one of my mentors, you know, the author of this book, 
right? High probability trading strategy. He mainly focuses on like stock commodities and the bond markets, et cetera, et cetera. But he now does a bit of analysis on Bitcoin because I asked him to do that four years ago. And he said, he said, yeah, Bitcoin is probably the best, the world's best speculative asset because it applies, human psychology applies to it so, so well. And Elliott Wave and Fibonacci ratios, that's what it is really, is human psychology, fear and greed playing out. So you've got one, two, what looks like a wave three, an ABC of a four, and we look like we're forming the initial wave five. Doesn't mean it's going to be like this. No, because the weekly momentum's down and the daily momentum, if we just go into the top, top left, is also down. But what we're looking for is a confluence of events, meaning there's three or four things in indicating what's likely to occur. So what I like to do, just get rid of this indicator for a second. Get rid of you as well. We are going to just do, just measure this, what we're calling what looks like a wave one, measure it from a wave two. And what we'll see straight away is, if I just get rid of these, 1.618 is the typical wave three zone. And you can see it's in this zone over here. Yeah, in this zone. So that gives me quite a bit of confidence to say this looks like a wave three. This correction here, this move, this sideways movement of overlapping waves is bigger than any wave over here. So this would indicate a nice A, B, C of a wave four and then a final leg down. So now what we could do is we can project, are we likely from a Fibonacci psychology standpoint, are we going to find some resistance down here or some support down here and get a bit of a correction over the next few days? Next few days, which may apply some optimism to the market, but we want to be aware what's likely to happen after that. So you can plan, prepare, get in defense mode um, because I think we still got this amazing last leg to the market to come where we will probably see a six-figure Bitcoin, but we want to make sure we're strong and sturdy by then so we can really, really take opportunity of, uh, well, take advantage of the opportunities that are likely to come. So now let me just get rid of this line. And what we're going to do is I want to project what's a high probability end of wave five. This looks like an initial wave one or an initial wave A, this downside movement, this whole movement here. We don't need to concern ourselves too much at this stage, but what we can do is, if it's a one or an A, it doesn't really matter, is what comes next is, is the same thing, whether it's a one or an A, it doesn't really matter. So we can anticipate with high probability. So let's do a, a few projections. The first one is my favorite for a wave five, is we're gonna measure wave one to wave three. Let me draw it. Let me, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you like this today. We're gonna to measure one. Oh, come on. We're gonna measure wave one to wave three, and then we're gonna project it forward from wave four, and it's gonna give us some ratios, right? I'm gonna keep these arrows here. Let me just put them to the side. I'm gonna put them to the side, just so you can see what I'm doing, because I cover it in my Elliott Wave Fibonacci Masterclass. But it's good for you to, to see as we're doing it live. Measure wave one to wave three beginning of one to the end of wave, what looks like a wave three, A, B, C of a wave four, and we want to project it from here. So it's three clicks. Yeah, I'll use trading view for this. Trading view is great for the bigger coins. And the key ratios is 62%. 38.2 is the least, and 100% is the most. Right, that's that's most common. Most common. Doesn't mean it won't go deeper because it's crypto. You know, crypto's it's a crazy market and uh, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Let me just get rid of this for now. But by itself, that's not enough information. We can narrow it down to which one is more likely. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an external retracement. I'm going to show you what I just did there, uh, just because I feel like it. <laughs> but what I'm doing here, I'm going to talk you through this, is I'm going to measure the up movement of this, but we're going to do a retracement. It's called an external retracement because it, it moves in the opposite direction. It goes this way. So we're going to measure this way. So these, these are the retracements here that came up but we want the correct ratios. The ratios that we want is 1.272 and 1.618. So we can see that it's hovering around this one here. So what that tells me is we're likely going to see, it's likely not going to go to this 100 and it's likely to stay more within this range. But we can do one last thing, which is wave five. Let me get rid of these. I'm just going to teach it to you like this today. Wave one. And wave five often mimic each other, often by 100%, 62%, or sometimes 1.618%. 100% is the, the most common. So what we're going to do here is we're going to measure this wave one, and we're going to project it forward from the wave four. So we can see where is wave five likely to end. So we're just measuring psychology here. It's crazy, right? Psychology is normally invisible, but here it becomes very visible. And 
what we're going to do is the main one is the 100%. And you can see it's in that cluster. So now we have this cluster zone of price, right? So now we can go, okay, here, this is a high probability cluster zone. I'm hoping that makes sense. So what I see from this is because we've got pattern, which is one, two, three, four, five. We've got Fibonacci. Um, we've got one, two, three Fibonacci ratios. They based on different waves, different relationships, which is a cluster down here. So even this one is a bit of a distraction. We can remove this. Doesn't mean it's going to stick here. Just highly probable. It can only be probabilities and never certainties. So if this holds. If this down here holds, give or take, let's just put it here because this will give it a bit more breathing room. What will typically then happen next is the following. Again, this hasn't been confirmed. We want the price to go above this high at least or even before that to close into this range, um, but more going over this wave four high. That will give us the first um, positive indication that we're going to have some upside movement for at least a few days, for at least a few days. But how long should the upside movement last for? So let's just jump back into a daily chart. I'm going to jump back into the top right. I keep my charts like this. Just going to get rid of this for a second. And what I want to do here, I know there's a lot of lines going on. Um, what I'll do for you today is let me just get rid of these because they're not, oh, we can redraw them later on. Right, what we're going to do is focus here. We'll get rid of this. Right, so this is what we just saw on the four hour chart. But we also got it here on the uh, daily chart. Now, the momentum on the daily is actually still bearish, right? So if we're going long on Bitcoin, we would wait for the next bullish reversal, unless you're going to do it on a lower time frame, right? And it could flip over the next couple of days, could flip early, could kind of do this, you know, go like this, down and then flip early. But we want to wait for the signal. And then when, if and when that occurs, what we should do is, let me just do some projections for you and then we'll wrap up, is when you have a five-way sequence, let me draw it like this because it would just make it a bit cleaner for you and do it like this. Is when you have a five-way sequence to the downside, like so, the typical ratios, um, we're going to make an assumption here. We're going to assume that this is the end of wave five. It could go lower. Remember that there's no guarantees here. This is just psychology playing out. But, if it does end up being, and we end up taking out this high over here, the typical ranges that will happen is, and keep it simple, we'll do it from this angle here, and take this high to this low now. And the most common wave two corrections, wave two or B, is 50 to 78.6%. This is the range. How long does it normally take? Minimum time taken, I want to be patient for this. Let's just assume the low's been made is 50 to 100% of the previous wave. So what's the date here? The date is 5th of December, 5th of December. So in typical, what happens is something like this. But remember the weekly momentum. So that's only a week away, right? And we're expecting three to four, maybe five weeks of sideways to down. So what will typically tend to play out Again, we're just being objective here. Forget our biases, forget our cognitive dissonance, because obviously we want Bitcoin to moon and kind of go through all-time new highs. I want that because it's really positive, especially for all coins. But if we can look at this with objectivity and non-emotion and non-biased, and we just go, look, we're just looking at the market. Mm, it is what it is. We're just looking at it. Is what will tend to happen. And something like this, and at least a third wave, a third leg like this. Right, that will mimic this first leg. That's the minimum that we should anticipate. Right, really, really, really important. Let me just get rid of this line. Where is this line? This is from a previous wave. Right, so ho hopefully that makes sense. So today, what we covered, you know, with Bitcoin, we've got this nice one, two, three, four, five. We should anticipate. This is just textbook Elliott wave stuff here and Fibonacci ratios. We anticipate at least an A, B, C correction, maximum of seventy-eight point six percent. But don't be fooled. This, if it's overlapping waves and it ranges in this this range and it doesn't break this all-time the previous high, then we should anticipate. Keeping in mind that the weekly momentum is down, um, and the next bearish reversal, we should expect at least a wave as similar to this. Right, and if and when this occurs, if and when this occurs, probabilities never certainties. We can reevaluate the market. 
Because what we don't know is, is this money, if it does flow out of Bitcoin, is it going to flow into other coins, altcoins, etc.? Or is it just going to panic the market and have a bit of a sell-off? So just be prepared for either scenario, because again, no certainties. And uh, there you have it. There you have it. So if you like today's video, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, take my free Elite Wave and Fibonacci masterclass that goes into this in depth. Because you, if you've been watching me for a while, we're now 10,000 subscribers, but this plays out. Crypto is one of the best markets for Elliott Waves and Fibonacci because the psychology is so raw and it's such a global market and it's such an infant market and the coins and the projects are quite young. Bitcoin is still young. It's only 12 years young. So it's still young and the, the, it's still small in the grander scheme of things. So this plays out really, really well. Right. Are you ready for uh, what we're going to finish on? We're going to finish on my... <laughs> as we did in this music video, right? So this, this video... <laughs> Is is on the British Asian charts. I was called to do this video. I'm gonna keep it small because the quality is so so. I don't know if I can increase the quality. Can I increase it? Does it let me? No, it doesn't. It doesn't let me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a little bit of it. I'll play the middle section. Uh, it went to number one in the British Asian charts. I'm the guy in the yellow tracksuit. I'm the guy in the yellow tracksuit. So uh, let me know what you think. Let me make sure the volume's on. All right, let's get the volume on. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's turn it up. All right, you ready? All right, let's have some fun. Let's go. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Jeez. There you go, there you go. That was, uh, he went to number one in the British Asian charts. I was the guy in the yellow tracksuit. Man, the amount of rehearsals, the amount of takes that we had to do was crazy. You can tell the sun's, I got this new setting in my room and the sun is beaming, beaming right now. Hence, you're going to see, this is this is a green screen normally. So you can see see this light coming through. That's, that is what it is. So if you liked today's video, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. The ideal course is ready. It's done as a masterclass and there's a course at the end of it. So if you wish to purchase it, I just kind of break down things step by step. Fibonacci Elliott Wave, if you want to learn it, even just doing a masterclass kind of gets you up to speed so you can really read the markets like a pro. Um, today, let's finish on a quote. This was today's quote. Is relevant, is relevant. Warren Buffett, rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. Bitcoin's going through a correction. It's natural, it's healthy. You know, corrections are healthy. Um, but it can be scary because it does impact the rest of the markets. We've seen a lot of red in the market right now. It's not because of the independent projects. It's because of fear. Fear, uncertainty and doubt. Pessimism, right? Fear and greed is what drives the market, whether you like it or not. It doesn't matter how great the project is. You know, Bitcoin's now legal tender in different countries, got more wallets than ever before, but you're taking a correction. Just because people are taking profits, people are selling for whichever reasons, but we can really measure that with high probability, but then anticipate what comes after a correction. It tends to be a, a resumption, a continuation of the trend. We want to be ready for that continuation. So there you have it. There you have it. So Bitcoin, pay attention. Let me know what you think of today's video. I was, yeah, the guy in the yellow tracksuit. That was, geez, what year was that? I think that was like 2004, 2000, maybe 2006, 2006, 2005. Geez, what's that? It's about 15 years ago. Wow, wow. But there you have it. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I appreciate you. Just smashed 12,000 subscribers. Channel's growing like crazy, but I love it. And I have time for you. So keep doing what you're doing and I'll see you very soon.